Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and happy Friday. Hope everyone's doing well. If you guys have ever wanted to do some trading, uh, particularly cryptocurrency trading, this one isn't uh, like currency pair. So this is just going long or short on Bitcoin. But these guys over at Hunnix have created a bot that lives inside of Telegram that allows you to trade. So it's actually pretty phenomenal considering this thing's inside of Telegram. So let me teach you a few things about trading and then I'll tell you how to get into this if it's something you're interested in. I will warn you that it's extremely, extremely addicting. Um, I don't know if you guys know much of my background, but I have traded for a lot of years. So I've got a ton of experience trading. Um, I will say that this is a little bit more of a degen way to trade, uh, but it's pretty fun. Uh, you go long or short, you can do it up to a thousand X leverage. The nice thing is it's not truly the same type of leverage that you would see in other markets. So the risk isn't, uh, isn't in the same spot. You're really just risking whatever position you put in here. So if, if just as an example, if I've got my, uh, my total dollar amount I'm willing to trade right here, and then I've got my leverage super high, all it's gonna do is put my margin call lines super close to me so if the trade goes against it just caps out my trade so um, it's not extremely risky you're just playing with fire on your trade you know whatever it is if you've got a hundred bucks up or ten bucks up or whatever that trade needs to go in the direction you need it to right out the gate otherwise you'll lose it so it's got some leverage which makes it kind of fun and they do these contests so let me pull this down real quick i'll show you this contest as you can see i'm in the middle of this trading tournament here i started late so i don't have as many trading days as the other guys um, i'm about i started about a day and a half into it but it doesn't matter as long as you're getting some decent profits posted then you can actually get yourself on the leaderboard and they're giving away some money so Every week they do a trading tournament in four days, 17 hours, 28 minutes, they'll start another one. So if it's something you wanna play around and get in, it, it's it's pretty simple and it's pretty low risk. So if you wanna try it out, you can certainly do it. Um, it's like, it's only about five bucks to get in is the minimum, but you can of course put more in however much you want to. The more you trade with, the more you can win, you know, you, you get the idea. But super interesting protocol. I can't believe they built this inside of Telegram. It's kind of funny, but it's got a lot of lot of different tools. Uh, let me show you the details. So uh, every week they're going to do one of these tournaments, which is cool, and they give away money. So first place, five hundred bucks, two hundred for second place, a hundred for third place, and then down all the way to tenth place gets five bucks. So better than nothing. Uh, as you can see, I am currently in second place here. So not too bad. Uh, Moonshot Max apparently has been trading on some heavy leverage. He's already got 13 million in volume that he's traded and uh, he's crushing it, 2,637. So he's probably got some big cash in there. I will say that no matter what I do, the likelihood is I'm probably not gonna catch Max. But if I could stay up here in the top three, I'd be super pumped. There's my man Lee as well. Um, I guarantee he's, yeah, we're gonna end up battling each other. I don't know if you have a competitive side, but, um, but we both do. And so we've been going back and forth. When I woke up this morning, he had surpassed me. So I had to get on and do some trades and, and all that. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about trading because there is plenty of risk in trading. And if you don't know what you're doing, you can lose money. So just be aware of that. I'm gonna to try to show you a couple things. When you open these up, let me just see if I can do this real quick. First off, let me show you a little bit about the trading because that's a cool part. And then second, I'll show you how to get in because you gotta click on some links in the Telegram bot and then you gotta fund your account and there's a few different ways to do it. But let me just bring up the, the um, little chart deal the way it's gonna look when you bring it up. So it's gonna look a little something like this with no indicators or anything like that, nothing on the chart. Now this is my demo side of the account. If I go over to my real side, uh, you can see the trades I made. I got you know a bunch of profitable ones. These I was just trying to get in and out of. That one I made completely by mistake. Uh, that one I got hit by a huge candle and wiped out my full fifty dollar position. So you know there's ups and downs to this. But anyway, there's um, you know here's here's the what it actually looks like on your end. Now all you got to do is click the button. And if you're in blue mode, then you're in demo. So you're just testing things out. Because I'm making this video on camera and not really focusing on the actual trade. I'm going to make the trade in the demo account, but let's talk a little bit about some indicators that you can use for trading. <clears throat> trading in general is in this particular case is you're just going long or short on Bitcoin. Long is easy. That up arrow means you think the price is going to go up and short means you think the price is going to go down. So that's how you open the position. You are going to select the amount you want to throw in here. Obviously, I've got five thousand seven hundred dollars basically in here. So why don't we just say I'm going to go one hundred dollars. 
let's open a couple positions. I don't want to make this too complicated, but I want I want it to be understood. I can open a, a couple different positions up and show you what this leverage is like. So let me see, let me see where are we at here. Um, let me do this in a second because I want to actually place these trades. But what I'll do is I'll open up one with very little leverage, and you'll see how far my liquidation line is away from me. And then I'll open one up with heavy leverage, and you'll see how close it is. Again, like I said, if I think it's going to go short and I pick super heavy leverage, the minute it takes up a little bit, it's going to hit my liquidation line. I'll lose the full amount, the full hundred dollars or whatever I put into that trade. So that'll make more sense in just a second here. But I want this to be a little bit more of a tutorial so you guys don't just get in here go all willy-nilly and then just lose money lose real money so again try the demo make sure you get the buttons down right even i make mistakes i've been trading for a long time i went uh oh, i can't remember if it was long or short i went long or short on accident i think i was um the in the default position of long and i opened a position and then i opened another one because i wanted to stack two so i could peel off profits as it went and I meant to go short. I had just clicked the wrong buttons and it did exactly what I thought it was gonna do at the exact second I thought it was gonna do and I lost 80 bucks, real money. So make sure you're paying attention, I guess is the lesson here. But let's talk indicators. Uh, you can use a bunch of different things. There's a bunch in here. I mean, scroll through, it's kind of cool that they have them. One I like that isn't here is the VWAP uh, one. It's not in here, so don't have it. Um, let's talk about relative strength index real quick. So relative strength index or RSI will track whether it thinks the asset in this coin in this case bitcoin is um, currently overbought or oversold so it'll dip down when it's oversold see how it dipped down here and the chart actually matches it and then it'll dip up here when it feels like it's overbought and then it'll dip down when it feels like it's starting to get oversold and back up when it's feeling like it's overbought so um that's just one indicator it can lie so you know throw it on there I like to have additional confirmations. Like, I, here's what I think it's going to do. Okay, RSI tells me it's going to do that. MACD tells me it's going to do that. So I like to look at multiple things. Um, but RSI is just one of them. Let me remove that so we don't get this too complicated. The one thing I haven't seen, and maybe some of you guys who are using this right now can tell me, uh, when I add volume, I can't see the volume. So I've been kind of playing this game with the... Um, MACD, which is moving average convergence divergence, it's just like a moving at two moving average lines. If you look at the price here, these will generally speaking coincide where the lines cross here, it started to go up, and where they crossed here, it started to go down, and where they crossed here, it started to go up. They're not always right either, so it's again, it's another thing where you know you want to be sure where they crossed right here you can see it really did have a good push to the upside and you can see that the the volume and the buying came in and actually did push it for a decent move you know especially if you stretch the chart out like this that's a solid move to the upside so that's one indicator that i like again all indicators a lot of these are trailing indicators so it's kind of telling you what just happened it's not going to tell you what's just about to happen so even though it looks like hey they're about to cross and you go short it could turn around and go go up on you and, and go against you so just be aware of that throw a couple things on get used to it like i said demo mode for at least a couple days and then throw some real cash in see what you want to do bollinger bands bollinger bands are kind of moving average lines the way i like to play bollinger bands is relatively simple again it's right a lot but not all the time I use the middle line kind of like I would use the VWAP. Give me a second and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Generally speaking, once it crosses the middle line and you finish a candle out on the upside of that line, the price likes to stay above that line for a little while. So as you can see, once it popped up and forced its way through that line, it rallied above that line for a while. So if you went long in here, looked for that confirmation, it ended here, you went long in here, you could technically just obviously be careful and ride it all the way out for as long as it would go once it crashed down through it i'm obviously i'm getting out of that trade so you made a nice profit there 
then you might go, okay, I'm going short, but look how quickly it turned around. So you may have got in here once you got the confirmation. It got here, you never know if it's gonna dip down and go your way. Here you had a nice green candle that broke back through it. You gotta close that trade. That's probably a lost trade. But once you get the confirmation here, you go long, you know, you end up all the way up here. So it broke down through the line and, uh, and made its way down. That's a really nice short opportunity right there. So uh, all you're really looking for when you're trading, it's not total luck, it's really just risk management. I like to look at several different tools and see what I think is gonna happen and if all the tools confirm my hypothesis, then I'll give it a go. And even though I may have, you know, five indicators telling me the same thing that it's going to go up and my gut tells me it's going to go up, it might rip to the downside. So hopefully that wasn't too, too confusing. The sun is really shining today. So sorry if the camera's doing weird stuff, trying to adjust. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the current setup because I want to take a trade here, but I'm not really liking what I'm seeing, but got to do it on camera. So we're going to do it. Um, I'm above the line. So I'm generally going to want to go long during these periods. These wicks that come up or how far the, uh, the buyers were able to push it up and then the sellers pushed it back down to this level. So the more I see these wicks, I can tell who's in control. It ripped down. Let's go long hundred bucks. Let's go really low leverage. Um, let me see if I can get a little more of a candle, do a scalp, kind of a quick trade. If this pushes down a little bit more, I'll be happy. I would have liked to have bought it at the bottom, but I was a second late there. Really, I want to play off this line. It could, I could buy in right here and it could dip all the way down. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and open that position. And then I'm going to come down real quick. I'm going to add a bunch of leverage and I'm going to open another position. Okay, now look. Whoa. The first position I opened will be liquidated here with almost no leverage, right? The second position will be liquidated here. So see how much closer it is? See how if this just gets a nasty candle to the downside, it's gonna liquidate my entire position. So that's the difference between $100 traded at 40X leverage and $100 traded at, at uh, 270X leverage. So just be aware of that. And right now we are um, just eating it off this line. See these profits or these uh, you know losses rather on the P&L are starting to rack up. I took those trades at the wrong time. Like I said, I would have rather wanted to bounce it off this line. Um, but I do think that there's still a pretty good chance that I just read that I ride it, that it comes down and bounces off. So boom, I'm going to open up another position right there. Total risky play. This is not probably the most ideal, particularly with uh, 270x leverage. But we're about to find out. Either this is going to rip down through this middle line on the MACD and I'm going to get absolutely wrecked or we're going to get a nice rejection and it's going to continue in this little line and go to the upside. It looks like we're probably going to get the opposite. So just for S's and G's, if this was real money, I would probably be waiting for this candle to close. If it closes down on this side, I'm betting we're going to go bearish. So it, meaning that I would have I would have wanted to flip these trades. But let's see what happens because either way, this is a good learning experience. So my gut tells me that now that it's poked down through there, unless we see a bunch of buying and this candle wicks to the other side, I don't know that it's going to turn around. This may end up being a fat red candle here. It'll play around for a second here, and then we'll work our way to the downside. So we may actually end up in a really bad spot on this trade, but we are about to find out. So it closed here. It might wiggle around here for a little bit and then stay below the line. Unless we get a nice fat green candle right here, I would be willing to bet that during the rest of this video, this ends up tanking and we lose a fat amount on this trade. So let's see. Again, not a trade I probably would have taken if I wasn't on a live video. Um, when you want to close the positions, all you got to do is click these close buttons. You got to click them independently. You can't close all at the same time. You can't close partial positions, which kind of bugs me. So sometimes if I'm going long or short, whatever, whatever the trade is, I'll make two of the exact same ones back to back. That way, when the first one gets a nice little move in the direction I want, I can close that one out, essentially taking profits. And then I'll let the, the, the other one run, run up or back down to where my stop loss would be. There's no stop losses on this, which is kind of frustrating. You really got to manage it. And there are no limit orders. So I can't say, hey, as soon as it hits, you know, as soon as it hits 61.90 or 61.936, then I want it to sell me out of the trade. You can't do that. So you are literally manually in here clicking the buttons. As you can see, the buyers are trying to push this up, but it keeps getting wicked down, which means the sellers are in a little bit more control. If I'm lucky, 
this will end in here this candle will, will close out in here and i'll get a nice fat green candle that pushes back above the uh center macd line here and then we'll go to the upside so we'll see i'm gonna take this away for now and we'll just check it when we get back total blind trade okay so as i mentioned this is all in telegram which is wild to me you can only imagine what this will turn into over time uh, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up coming to something like this you will click the link i'll put a link in the description come to a link something like this it will give you options for my wallet tournaments referral program uh, welcome bonus all that type of stuff so you can actually earn a welcome bonus once you click on these it's actually going to give you little pop-ups and if you make a deposit of at least ten dollars then it will give you ten bucks if you make uh, ten dollars on a trade but once you get in here you can click on tournaments and that will bring up the info on tournaments you can actually go to register it's super easy to register click a couple buttons and then you're in the tournament and as long as you're trading and posting profits then you are in the mix um, if you click on my wallet that's going to show you how much funds you have available you can withdraw you can show the history you can go back to the main menu if you can see that my screen might cut it off but uh let's see i'll make it shorter just so you can make sure you can see uh, main menu history deposit is just going to give you options to deposit for me it is i'm just doing usdt and bep20 all it does is give you a wallet address i'm going to send in a little more money right now just to show you the process super simple i take the wallet address i plug it into rabi i'm going to send a hundred dollars in and here's what i also want to do i'm going to give away a hundred bucks i'm going to give away let's just do let's do four 25 dollars deposits it's enough to get into there and trade not too little to where it wouldn't even make a difference you could actually make a few some decent trades with 25 bucks and that'll get more people involved and then if i just did like 100 to one person or maybe 50 to two people so let's give away 100 bucks all you got to do is smash the like leave a comment down below leave your wallet address as well and then click the referral link to sign up. It'll just basically link up to your Telegram. And then what I'll do is I'll send that wallet, the $25 so you can deposit it and get rolling. And then um, hopefully you get all dialed in and comfortable between now and four days from now when the new contest starts, then you can jump in that new tournament. So let me send this out real quick. Okay, instant basically. As soon as that wallet receives uh, the deposit, it just pops up and says, cool, it's added to your balance, happy trading. So the process is super simple. It just takes a little bit of clicking around, but you can do the same thing when you go to withdraw in your history. Like I said, you can jump back to the main menu, which will give you all the details here. There's of course a telegram. These guys are actually super easy to work with. How they make their money is they shave a little bit on the profits on the trade. So let's bring it back up and see how we did. I think it, my bot actually closed. So I'm gonna have to put my things back up again. All right, just as we suspected, uh, it's moving to the downside. So let me do a couple things. Let me jump back in, put my indicators on. I will say that my one frustration with this is that sometimes it closes down and takes away my special things. I wish that I could save it like this. Um, all right, not surprising at all. Once it broke down through this center line, it stayed below it. It went up, rode against it, tested it, said, nope, it's coming down. So this is these are going to be losing trades. I really think unless I just leave them, which is not recommended, uh, and this turns around and comes back to the upside and just never hits these lines down here, my liquidation lines, which the other one's so far down there. Uh, literally, leverage gives you so much distance. So what I've been doing a lot on this one, since you really got to manage them, is just um, scalping, day trading, just in and out of, of positions for the most part. Most I've ever been in one is probably 30 minutes where I've just been letting it ride. If you want a swing trade, you certainly can, but I don't recommend using leverage because you want the ability for the price to move in the direction you think it could. So, you know, if you think it's gonna move up like it did last night, these are major, major moves last night where it went all the way from down here at the lows of about 58.8 up to 61.5 or so, 61.9. But if somewhere in the middle there, you wanted to play long, you want your lines to be, your liquidation lines to be well below any type of um, support levels. So that way you, it gives you the opportunity to move up and down and move in the direction you want to. But uh, more details on trading, if you guys actually like this stuff, uh, like I said, I've traded for a long time. I usually trade options, most of the time selling options because it's just much less time consuming than sitting in front of the computer all day. I just do a lot of stuff for my business and it doesn't allow me to stare at the screen in this way and it gives me anxiety. So I stopped trading a lot during the middle of the day, but now this is getting super addicting. So let's see where this goes.
But that's pretty much it. I wanted to maybe close these trades out, but I'm just gonna leave them, see what happens. If I get lucky, I'll get a little rejection off this. We'll poke back through and I can end these profitable. Um, I could just close them. Obviously this is fake money, but I have an ego, so I'd like to see these turn green. Let's see what happens if I let it roll for a minute. It's not super, super bearish, but it's you know probably gonna move down, poke through. Ooh, there we go, starting to look good. We're only negative a bit on these two. This one's much heavier. Now it's looking better. Okay, hang on one sec, let's see. This candle needs to close above this line for me to feel decent about it. And the next one needs to not rip right back down through it and get a bunch of selling pressure. Okay, good close there. Starting out with a little selling. At the moment, it's ripping right back down through that line. MACD is a trailing indicator, so this doesn't mean anything yet, but there is a, see the lines are flattening out, but if they uh, be nice to me and cross here, we could see some potential upside. Uh, yeah, I don't know, look at this. Ripped right back down like I was thinking, and uh, probably gonna move to the downside. So anyway, I'm gonna close the video out here. I'll tend this just to see if I can turn it green. If this trade ends up winning, it's 100% luck for sure. That is not a trade I would have taken. But don't forget, $100 giveaway. I'll give away 25 bucks to four people. All you gotta do is comment, leave your wallet address, and then click the link to sign up, and I, that way I know where to send it to. Hope you guys are having an exceptional Friday. Hope you have an awesome weekend, and happy investing.